Welcome. When does one encounter Christ? 2,000 years ago or now? This woodcut was done about 600 years ago, give or take a bit. It tells the story of the encounter between Christ and the Samaritan woman at the well, a story recounted in the Gospel of John. Do you know the story? Jesus and the apostles have been traveling. They are near a town in Samaria, and the apostles go into town to get provisions. Jesus sits down by the well. Now, Samaritans and Jews don't get along because the Samaritans stayed behind and at least partially bought into the invaders' religion in the northern kingdom when the Assyrians conquered them. A Samaritan woman comes along to draw water from the well, and Jesus speaks to her. An unheard of thing to do in the day. The story is well worth reading. It contains some great wordplay back and forth between Jesus and the woman around the notion of the physical water in the well and the living water of Jesus' teachings. The Samaritan woman is impressed by Jesus and goes off and spreads his good news to her village. When you hear such a story, how do you picture it in your own mind? Do you see them in first century Samaria, part of the Roman Empire? Do you think of them in the clothing of the Roman Empire? How would you react to a contemporary artist who depicted Jesus in jeans at a truck stop on the interstate, take, talking to a local woman of a different race in a tank top and jeans? This woodcut is the 15th century equivalent of that. Notice how Jesus and the woman are dressed. This is an ancient Roman style. This is 15th century German village. Jesus is dressed in a brown robe similar to a monk's robe. And the Samaritan woman is dressed in the clothing of the 15th century. What is the point of that? It sure isn't about historical accuracy. The point of that is to remind viewers that when they hear the Bible stories about Jesus, it isn't supposed to be a thing that happened long ago and far away. It is supposed to be a thing that may happen to you tomorrow. Will you be ready for it? Put yourself in the shoes of the Samaritan woman. Who is the most hated or feared racial group among your friends? How would you feel as you approached your local supermarket or coffee shop and someone from that group was sitting there? What if they started talking to you? Would you recognize living water if the stranger started sharing with you? Thank you for watching. God bless.